Hello, my name is Ashley and I'm from Imaginative Libraries. And today it has been very rainy and stormy outside. So I think it's the perfect day to create our own rainstorm inside and do a rainstorm science experiment. So to do the science experiment at home, all you need to do is gather four ingredients. So I have a clear jar, mostly full of room temperature water like this. I have some blue food coloring diluted with a little bit of water. I have an eyedropper and mm -hmm. I have some shaving cream. So these are four things you need to do a brainstorm in a jar. This brainstorm in a jar is a great example on how to demonstrate the water cycle. So the first thing we are going to do is fill up our jar full of room temperature water just like this, which I've already done. The second thing you need to do is um, fill your jar full of shaving cream. So we're gonna do that. Okay. Ideally there'd be a little bit more, but that's good enough. So this water in my jar represents air and the shaving cream on top obviously represents clouds so when it rains outside like it's been doing all day today all that is is a bunch of water in the air that has gathered together and then it gets so heavy in those clouds those clouds are are much heavier than they look all the rain just falls back down out of the clouds that's what we're going to do next is we're going to create that rain so we have air we have our clouds that are heavy with rain. Now we are going to make it rain. So my blue food coloring is going to represent the actual rain that's going to fall down. All I'm going to do is drop a bunch of my rain on top of my clouds. And as you can see, it has started to rain it looks exactly like rain too, just a little bit darker. I bet it would even be cool with pink food coloring or red food coloring. That would be cool. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have fun creating your own rainstorm inside and I will see you next time. Bye.